invited the forced parade of captive Ukrainian soldiers violate the Geneva Convention? Human Rights Watch has deplored Kremlin-backed fighters for parading captive Ukrainian troops through central Donetsk on Ukrainian Independence Day. Hundreds of spectators hurled objects and abuse at prisoners during the ghoulish event, while guards wielded bayonets for added menace. Despite the distressing nature of the images broadcast live on Russian television, question marks have been raised over whether the parade actually constitutes a war crime. Legal uncertainty persists over whether the Kremlin-backed insurgency in East Ukraine is classified as an international war or an internal conflict. Article 3 of the 1949 Geneva Convention, which applies to non-international armed conflicts, specifically bans outrages upon personal dignity, in particular humiliating and degrading treatment. Article 13 further states that prisoners of war must at all times be protected, particularly against acts of violence or intimidation and against insults and public curiosity. Human Rights Watch Deputy Director Rachel Debner said the parade was a clear violation of Article 3 of the Geneva Convention. Her comments were echoed by colleague Tanya Lokshina, who heads the Moscow Office of Human Rights Watch. Lokshina told Radio Free Europe the so-called parade of prisoners in Donetsk is not only revolting from a purely human perspective, it's also a clear violation of international humanitarian law. However, legal definitions of exactly what qualifies as a breach of personal dignity are not specific, creating room for rival interpretations. In response to criticism of the prisoner parade, Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, said he didn't see the prisoners being humiliated and argued that any legal issues should be left to the lawyers. This is not the first time Kremlin-backed fighters have been accused of gross human rights abuses in Ukraine. Human rights groups have accused insurgents of abducting and killing hundreds of civilians since the uprising in East Ukraine began in April. Meanwhile, Amnesty International published graphic and compelling evidence in July of savage beatings and other torture of pro-Ukrainian activists, independent journalists and other political targets in areas under insurgent control.